Today we're making the Solomon's Card Mom two ways. We're gonna pick a favorite, and you can too. Stay tuned, make it yourself. It's a good drink. Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. That, my friends, is Ian Andrews, and we're going to make one drink twice. The name of the cocktail. I never had a name for the cocktail. It's called Jen's Drink, and today's episode <laughs> is produced by Troy from Two Roy Cooks on YouTube. Check him out. You want to check out T. Roy Cooks, it's a YouTube channel. You can search for T. Roy, or you can search for Troy, or T Space Roy. Cowboy TX is his channel. If you like oh, the you cooking, go. he has a cooking channel, so you should be there. And he's an executive producer for the episode, which is extra awesome. Uh, this drink has a cocktail name. For some reason, it, the, that part of it escaped me. Let's call it Solomon's Cardamom. All right, we're calling it Solomon's Cardamom. And the recipe is, we're, <laughs> we're going to take a quarter ounce of lemon juice, pretty squeezed here. Mm -hmm. Three dashes of carbon bitters, we're using scrappies. Three quarter ounces of clove syrup. Three quarter ounces of Angostura 1911, which is... Uh, 1919. 1919, sorry. 1911, hello other thing. And then we're going to make two variants. One with the London Dry and one with an American Gin. The American Gin has three quarters of an ounce of gin and the London Dry has a half ounce of gin. Shake and strain into these beautiful chilled Nick and Nora glasses. Derek's going to make the London Dry, I'm going to make the American Gin. We're going to try. Um, and... No, we're going to do it. I'll put both there is recipes. No try. There's two recipes do up on the not. recipe card no so you can see them. There'll be two recipes down below in the description if you want to understand what they are. We're doing two. Because... We're doing two because Jennifer liked. We built this. Okay, let's back. Let's step back a little bit. Step we back. built this. You as talk. A, I'll probably make yours by the time you're done. Yeah. We built this because as a Patreon subscriber, anybody who had, has $50 or more gets a cocktail made after them or for them or whatnot, right? Are these all the rest of the ingredients are the same? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, this recipe is for Solomon. He submitted the co or he submitted the, the his submission because I ask everybody who's who's coming close to their number, what are your favorite flavor properties? Which one am I doing again? Lemon dry. Half, half ounce of that. Oh, uh, half ounce. Really? So I we said what what are your favorite flavor properties? Blah blah blah. And he said, well, I bought Scrappy's Cardamom Bitters from you at AwesomeDrinks.com. And they said that in the chat room, but... Okay, in the case. And they're totally overpowering. So, how do you solve the overpowering problem? Well, we have Jennifer figure out how to use Scrappy's Bitters and not overpower your cocktail. <laughs> Jennifer tried one. She like... What the Jennifer tried what she liked it. Um, I tried the other one and I liked it better. I'm just gonna use a double strain. It's got some. Oh, you want to take a photo of this? Yep. Uh, uh, oh, the ice chips. Ice chips. So it's like literally we're taking it out of her notes. So I wanted to know what Ian thought since he likes gin, and it only makes. And he sense respects my opinion. Sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't have to do with the aggression <laughs> I, of a whiskey. Do you whiskey. remember which one's which? Oh, you know oh shit! You taste yes, it? of course. Have, just you mind get the fancy glass. This is American, American generator. It might be fancy. Cardamom is strong, but that's tasty. Hmm. I like the London Dry. The cardamom goes really well with that for some See, reason. I like the London Dry. There's something too. really interesting about that flavor profile. This one? No, this. The London Dry. I like the London the Dry. Oh, that's what I made. Yeah. Okay. You like mine better, is what you're saying. I do. That is great with that cardamom. That's a good, good drink. This isn't bad. Like, I like this when I taste it, but then I try this, and I'm like, wow, it's really different. Yeah, it yeah, is They, a lot they all different. taste the same. Just from changing the subtle difference of the type American of gin, gin the type versus of a London Dry Gin. Well, it's like with the American with Gin, the, difference in... the cardamom comes out as a big central player, yeah. and it's almost bitter because of the cardamom. Right. But with the, the London Dry, the botanicals in the cardamom just mix And the London so well. Dry is a half ounce, and it's got an extra quarter ounce in it. So you would think it would be more boozy or something, but... That is crazy. Nice drink, Jen. Thanks. Your design? My yeah. design. Well done. That, save that one. Submit that one. <laughs> you could win something with that one. <laughs> I urge you guys to try both if you have both. I wouldn't They're go different. out and buy uh, and see which one you like specifically better. This I, would be good with the Maison also. We, well, we thought maybe so. Angostura might be more available than Maison. I think in either case, what was the Maison we were going to do? Panama? Panama, I think, yeah, because right. I was originally going to do Maison. Right. I'm like, right. well, I don't so, think it's widely as distributed. I, I like that you were thinking that way. That yeah. Way. yeah, we were looking at it from a really I wanted that, yeah. Availability, also. Availability. Yeah. availability, but I did like the, the yeah. taste profile that Panama has. The center focus should be the cardamom 
in the gin. Yeah. But yet you still need to be able to play in the the uh, the rum in here to kind of fill it out. And then on top of it, this we didn't even mention the uh, the clove simple syrup recipe. Um, we built this is super simple. <laughs> <laughs> syrup. Simple syrup. Super so simple syrup. for this, what you're looking at is this specific bottle here is one to one sugar sugar water. So it's yep. I did four ounces of sugar, four ounces of water, and then twelve crushed uh, cloves. Crush them up, stick them in there. Uh, I let it sit in the simple syrup after I took it off the heat. Once it got, once it cleared out, it was clear. I moved it off the heat, left it there for 20 minutes. Then I strained it out. Just let the the clove sit in there. 12 cloves is enough to get exactly just to get that a little bit of clove out of it. Clove pairs well with anything aromatic, such as these guys here. It pairs with rum because it's it's kind of almost like one in one with rum. You can get clove a lot out of Angostura. So if you wanted to bring bitters. In here, and we're using these specific bitters, but you want some of those clove properties, you could bring them in through the syrup instead. Yeah, totally. Uh, and the whole goal and behind here, if, if it wasn't clear, because I was building a cocktail as Ian was, is that this is what Solomon bought. He bought it at Austin Drinks, obviously, because why wouldn't you buy stuff at AustinDrinks.com where all this stuff is sold? Uh, cardamom bitters is probably the number one best seller from the Scrappy's brand of bitters. Really? It's what they're known for cardamom and lavender. Interesting. So, and we sell a lot of cardamom. Um, like in case form, especially up north in Maine, mm -hmm. um, and it is strong. Cardamom is a strong flavor. This cocktail brings out the cardamom, but without the strength, it brings it as a it primary it. flavor as opposed to like it's just cardamom. <laughs> you can just try it. Look, is it strong? Mm, hold on. No idea. This is um, potent. Very strong. On flavor. Put this back where we can't mess with it. Yeah, it is. It hurt is, ourselves. It, for, you don't need a lot of dashes. Three dashes at most for this drink. If you guys want your own drink and for us to spend 10 minutes talking about you, <laughs> patreon.com slash cmc. If you help donate to the show and you get to your $50 mark, we'll send you an email. I've sent a whole bunch out for people to get flavor properties. I put them in an Excel spreadsheet and we start banging it through them. Um, it's a slow process. It will get done. Uh, but you get drunk sometimes when you're building these things. So we have to go through a lot of permutations. Yeah. And then you get a restart, things. see a whole bunch of drinks that Jen makes. You can buy a recipe book. And they put yeah. it out. Homecocktailmenu.com. Home what? That just happened? Like that time? Yeah. yeah. Share, like, subscribe to this video. <laughs> Question of the day. This is one my, my daughter's been harping me on. She, really? Uh, yes. So she just loves YouTube. That's Pokemon or Yo-Gi-Oh? No, she doesn't <laughs> play that anymore. She doesn't install Pokemon Go. Um, <laughs> what she said that. The reason I don't have any more subscribers than the 75,000 I have is because my fans don't have a name. <laughs> We've had this oh. argument all week. They need a name. Like, you, you're, she's like, I, I'm like, you subscribe to channels just because they give you a name. Like, uh, you're a lumper if you listen to the Exactly. Rock the lumpers, the, the lumpa nation. The common uh, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, well, they, there's a name. Even musicians, they all have names. Uh, yeah. Lady Gaga's. What is it, what's hers? Oh, she got the yeah. Juggalos from uh, ICP. They're monsters. The same kind posse. Hmm. Apparently, from my daughter's perspective, people aren't going to subscribe because they don't get to be part of. <laughs> oh, that they need like Euro stickers with that name on it. Yeah, like the little circle one. Yeah, Kai? little monsters. Yeah, the what little, are little monsters. Lady Gaga's is little monsters. Little monsters. You can call yourself the uh, commoners. So you even tattooed it on herself. I, I'll tell. <laughs> I don't go. think I want to say this. <laughs> if you, you, almost a, you almost went. Yeah. There. If you if it comes up with a good one that we stick to, I'll tattoo. I tattoo my shit. I don't care. I've designed my tattoo. You just want to show off the guns. Yeah. I can't going. show off my left hand gun. I designed this tattoo from scratch. This is my design. You did. I can he's design one. Gonna design a tattoo for my dad. Yeah. I can oh, design yeah? a tattoo Your for dad's her dad. Your dad's gonna get a tattoo. Does he have any? Yeah. He has one. Oh, yeah, Jennifer. Has Jennifer on his arm. He wants. And listen. On his was he military? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So before we sign out, her father wants a tattoo that is a little a little field mouse standing on his hind legs, looking up at a at a game like an eagle or, or some sort of prey. bird of prey coming Giving down at him. Give him yeah. the finger. Nice. Say it. Uh, last act of defiance. Yeah, last act of defiance, <laughs> and he's just doing this. Eric says, uh, "Cocktail ballers." I think you could shorten it. That's a lot. You'd be the cock ballers. <laughs> I don't want to see a tattoo of cock ballers on you. Group. The two drunk the two That doesn't work for the whole group. Oh, yeah, um, well, the two drunk crew. That we call everybody the two drunk crew? Yeah. It has to be them. They're the ones with the name. They're not us. Yeah, that's a good point. 
I know! Alright, put your comments in the video. We're gonna comments this out. in the video where teach you how to drink. Oh, hey. Did you guys know there's a little bell next to the subscribe button on all our videos and on our channel main page? If you click that bell, you can actually receive notifications every time a new episode goes live daily. Um, but for now, just click on one of these two guys right here and watch those videos. It's a good time.